Coming up on One Way Out. I get all shook up as I work on the problem of how to escape without any sudden movement. Stun on the head, stun on the head, stun on the head. And to inspire me to stay still, I'll be enlisting the help of one very large scorpion and 200,000 beats. It's all part of my plan to learn to move as little as possible while attempting to escape some very trying circumstances. What are they trying to do? Kill me? My name's Jonathan Goodwin, and I practice the art of escape. Sometimes I succeed, and occasionally I don't. But with the help of my mate Mikey Nelson and engineering genius Terry Stroud, we're out to test the limits of escape science. It might look like fun and games, but there is method to my madness. So today I'm investigating escaping with minimal movement. That usually when you escape there's a massive amount of wriggling or movement necessary to get free. And sometimes that's not the best plan. So I've been to the pet store and bought one of these. This is an emperor scorpion and I'm going to try and escape with it. In fact where I'm thinking of putting it I stand a very good chance of being stung. My friend Mikey's going to come over and help me with the escape but he doesn't know what we're going to do so I'm going to set everything up before he gets here. By placing a scorpion in my mouth, it forces me to isolate my movements. If I screw up and move too much, I could be stung repeatedly. So everything's set up, and now Mikey's here. Hello, Mike. Hi. All right, dude. Zip ties, right? You can go under the table and feed them back up and restrain my wrist like that. Zip ties are actually a really great restraint, Mike. They ratchet down, obviously, but they don't loosen. The police even use a version of these in place of handcuffs sometimes. They're that good. That good? Yeah, it's cutting off the circulation. It's very good. Over there, there is the roll of duct tape. Mm -hmm. Pull off about six inches and just keep it handy. So just put it somewhere handy. <laughs> very funny. Mm. OK, next. I want you to film what's underneath the towel. That is an emperor scorpion. Although extremely painful, a sting from this scorpion will not kill me unless I'm highly allergic. Plus, the pincers are powerful enough to draw blood. All scorpions sting, and they belong to the same family as spiders, the arachnids, and they spit acid, which dissolves flesh. Oh, great. Pick it up. Oh, don't do it. Okay, good job, Mike. So, uh, now I can tell you what we're actually doing. You're going to put the scorpion in my mouth, you're going to duct tape my mouth shut, and then you're going to film it. Because I want to investigate uh, escaping with minimal movement. Huh. <laughs> All right, so, ready? As Mikey was placing the scorpion in my mouth, it immediately began to pinch my lips. It doesn't want to go. It's, well, it's my mouth. Of course it doesn't want to go in. It didn't want to go in my mouth at all. This is not starting off well. Come on. It's all right. It's all right. We can do it. Come on. Come on. I'm okay with it now. Come on. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. With my mouth taped shut and the scorpion inside, I need to free my hands from the zip ties with as little movement as possible. Any sudden action could startle the scorpion into stinging me. Right away, I could feel the scorpion heading toward my throat. I used my tongue to push him around, and I could feel his pincers digging into my cheeks. At this point, the scorpion had settled down, and I was progressing nicely with my escape using minimal movement. Hey. Do you want to know what would really suck? Mm -hmm. Is if I slapped you in the face right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I felt two sharp stings to the roof of my mouth. I still had to remain as calm as possible. <laughs> Come on. Come on, you can do this. Remember, being an escape artist is about trying to overcome restraints whilst risking pain and humiliation. Ah. Oh, ah, ah. Ow, ow, All right, ow, put ow, the, ow. the thing. Ah, he's pinching me. Ah, he's pinching <laughs> the thing. Ah. Get off. 
Get him up. Get, get him up. Come on. Get him. Oh. Ah. Oh. So that was horrible. As soon as the thing went into my mouth, I was kind of okay. I was zen. And then Mikey started whacking me. Scorpion freaked out, like totally freaked out. It was biting me on the inside of the, the, my cheek really hard with its pincers. And I think it stung me, bang, bang, twice on the roof of my mouth. I just want to freak out when something like, like that's happening. So it was a real challenge. But I think as a first experiment into minimal movement while escaping, it was, uh, it was interesting. I think I can do better. So the scorpion escape was cool, but I think I can challenge myself even more to escape whilst keeping still, and I've designed a stunt to do just that. My friend Terry is building me a box. The box will rest on a washing machine, and I will be restrained inside, covered in bees. Thousands and thousands of bees. I'll have 30 seconds to escape before the spin cycle starts, which will agitate the bees and increase my chances of being stuck. I have to escape quickly and with as little violent movement as possible, but first I need to find a man who knows lots about bees or at least more than I do, and I think I know the very person. Today I'm studying escape with minimal movement, using sting as my main incentive. It worked relatively well with the scorpion that I put in my mouth, but I'm wondering how stings would feel elsewhere in my body to see if I'm allergic and to learn how to control my body while I'm in pain. I brought along to help me Dr. Norman Gary, a preeminent apiculture entomologist or bee researcher, Dr. Gary has over 40 years experience working with bees and together we came up with an interesting experiment. And this is my bee roulette. So basically, I have uh, constructed a game to help me learn whether I'm allergic to bees or not. And also, during the stunt, I plan to be covered completely in bees. So today I'm going to be stung in different sensitive parts of my body because I want to see how bad it's going to be. So, when we spoke earlier, Dr. Yari, uh, you, you told me about the six most sensitive parts of the body that we can show on television to be stung by a bee. So we have these on here. I spin the wheel, Mike or you spin the wheel, we take it in turns. Whatever body part it lands on, that's where we get stung. Sound like fun? No. Uh, let's spin the wheel, shall we? Here we go. Round and round it goes where it stops. Nobody knows. The palm of the hand. That might smart. OK, palm of the hand. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, and when it, when it stings me, what kind of poison is that? The uh, poison is really complex. It's all kinds of chemicals, enzymes, uh, things, little mean things designed to hurt. <laughs> ah! Yeah, if I react like this later, I'm sure to be stung repeatedly. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, on a scale of one to ten, was, oh. was oh. it <laughs> harder yeah. than the scorpion? Oh! That is worse than a scorpion. Oh, the tension's building. This really hurts, dude. Oh, the tip of the nose. Come on! The tip of the nose. Now, I'm also having Mikey stung so I can observe his reactions and learn how those stings could cause my body to react later. Ah! 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 <laughs> Note to self, do not react like Mikey. I'm such a baby! This is the most fun I've had. In oh. So does it carry on kind of injecting poison? Mm. Here's how this thing works. Yeah. It has a tiny uh, barb on the tip, so it penetrates the skin, yes, the barb catches, yep. the bee pulls and flies away normally, right. leaving the sting structure there. It starts pumping and pumping, actually pulling itself in and pumping to deliver the venom. If you're ever stung, scratch the stinger out in about two seconds and it minimizes the sting. Right. Okay. We perhaps should have told you that before we stung you on the hands, Mike. Thanks. <laughs> Dr. Gary told us many things we didn't know about bees. For example, Come on. most people can handle several stings at once before becoming very sick. But about 1% of people are hypersensitive and can die from a single sting. No, come on! The largest documented amount of stings a single person survived mm. is 2,443. <laughs> I hope to achieve my escape with zero. If I can keep it low and, and do minimal movements, do you think I stand a chance of escaping without being stung at all? No. <laughs> and that's not exactly what I wanted to hear. 